Good morning, everybody. Sorry, I was muted there for a minute. So I've just put a rough chop on our mushrooms and I am got some heat going on my pan over here. We are doing stuffed mushrooms. Stuffed acorn squash. Stuffed acorn squash. I'm chopping mushrooms. There is built on a rock. How are you doing this morning, sweetie? If you don't mind, share this out. Um, I don't know if uh, YouTube is letting the notification out. We ain't got nobody in here, but you're you and Papa this morning. Let me turn my Marco off. Make sure you get all that. Don't need all that going off in the middle of this live. I am really excited about this this morning. Uh, I think it's going to be a great recipe. So I got some olive oil. Y'all like my little olive oil bottles? I got these at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. So we're just going to drizzle some olive oil in my pan here. I've got some onion here that we're going to saute up. Just a small uh, white onion. Okay. Well, hopefully we get a few more people joining us this morning. I'm sure. Okay. I'm going to put a little salt on my onion. Little pepper. Cutting board out of the way here. And then I've got a pound of just regular breakfast sausage. We're going to we're going to brown this sausage up real quick, and then we're going to add some more stuff to it. That's just weird, huh? That's crazy. Check the, the link for me. I did. Okay. YouTube, uh, no, I won't say what I usually call it, at its best. YouTube Smurfery. Yeah, there you go. All right, well, let's just hope people can get in here. All right, we're going to get this sausage browned up good. I've already, uh, my acorn squash, I've already roasted in the oven a little bit. I cooked them for 40 minutes um, because I wanted to get us a little ahead of the ball game. That's just weird. Let's see if anybody messaged me saying they're having trouble getting in. And 
then for our rice mixture, where did we, you said that? Hold on just a second. I'm using, uh, I apologize. I found this at our local grocery store, and I'm really kind of, it's called a uh, Texas Royal Blend. It's got wild rice, white rice, and brown rice, and I cooked it up in my pressure, uh, it's not an Instapot, it's a, a Power Pressure Pro, but it's like an Instapot, and I went ahead and pre-cooked it as well, but it's completely organic, and if I can find it on Amazon, I will put it in the show notes, um, but it I've already tasted it. It is so good. So it, it has the brown, white, and uh, wild rice already in it. I will definitely be buying this stuff again. So if I can find it, I will link it. But I, I found it, uh, I guess we found it at Kroger, didn't we? Yeah. We got it at Kroger's. But if I can find it on Amazon, I'll link it. <laughs> But that, that's the rocks we'll be using today. We'll see if I can share this real quick. Huh? Yeah. I'm sharing it out real quick to a couple of places. Hopefully we can get a few more people in here. sausage cooking up if uh, you guys didn't know I have been in the hospital most of this week uh, I had a kidney stone and a bad kidney infection I had surgery on Wednesday so I was trying to do something that I could do fairly simple and that way if the you know we got done we may shut the live down a little bit early I'm still on pain medication so It's been kind of a, a challenging week for me this week. I was only able to get two videos out this week. All right, got my sausage almost done here. Oh, very good.
when I get uh, my stuff cooked, Keith, I'm gonna we're gonna move the uh, hot pot off so I can work. So I'm going to, now at this point, I'm going to throw in some um, mushrooms that I roughly chopped up. And I'm also going to add some garlic. We don't have any open garlic. I'm also going to add in some uh, rosemary. And some parsley. Give this a good stir. And then I'm going to add in my rice mixture. Set this aside. Can get you some. Uh... Hey Nathan, thanks for coming, sweetie. Well, he doesn't want to know what I'm cooking. I am making stuffed acorn squash. I appreciate you coming. Apparently, the notification didn't go out. Nobody uh, but you and Built on a Rock and Papa have showed up to my life today. So, thank you for being here. Huh? And I don't count because I'm always here. So, all right, grab some pot racks and uh, let's move this real quick. Now, I'm, I'm going to just set it right here. All right, move that to the stove so it can cool yeah, off. Yeah. All right, so what, what you want to do is scrape out a little bit of your inside of your squash because you want some of this good stuff. And I've already pre-cooked my squash in the oven for about 40 minutes. Uh. 
What did he say? You don't like acorn squash? I like acorn squash better than I do spaghetti squash. I know everybody's like spaghetti squash is the the end thing, you know. I don't like it. I'm not a fan. Okay, so I've taken some of that out. Set that aside. And I'm going to take my sausage and uh, rice mixture and I'm going to stuff my squash. And you want to just pile it on there. I am seed saving. I've got them sitting over here in some water. Um, and I'm going to try to grow some of my own acorn squash next year. So this week's videos, I want to, first of all, I want to apologize that I was only able to get out two videos this week. You know, um, it, it is what it is being in the hospital for three days, having surgery and stuff, uh, kind of put a damper on my recordings. Yeah, I'm sure you huh? Uh, Nathan asked, could you step it with boudin since it's already a sausage and rice mixture? I would love to. If I, if I had some boudin, it would totally go into this. I don't have any boudin or at least access to the really good boudin that comes out of Lake Charles. Um, we have a friend that we go to church with that he has family in Lake Charles. And every time he goes, he goes to that place that Brett uh, and Amy talk about that has a really good boudin <clears throat> and he gets some. So Brett was talking about it on one of his lives. And I'm like, I've had that boudin. And he's like, you've been here. And I'm like, nope. But I have a friend that picks it up. If I had some, that would probably be amazing. But the booty in that they make here, I don't like it. Don't like it. I'm going to set this back here. So I have extra of that to eat. All right. So I'm going to grade some cheese up real quick. Grab a knife. This, one. this is some um, Vermont extra sharp white cheddar. They had it on sale at Kroger, so I got a big old chunk of it. Because why not? We eat a lot of cheese around here. And you know, you get some good cheese and Okay, let me rephrase that. I eat a lot of cheese around here. Well, yeah, Keith does too. Kendra, not so much. She, the older she gets, the more lactose intolerance she gets. So one of these, I have to leave for her with no cheese on it. All right. So... I'll do this one for me because it's smaller. And then I'll do that one for Keith. And I'll leave this one for Kendra. And I'll put another one over here with cheese on it for whoever. All right, we're going to pop these in the oven for 15 minutes. Let them get all bubbly and they'll be good to go. That's some good cheese. I have my oven preset for 375. 
Let's try not to set off the fire alarms today. You think we can manage? I doubt it because I've already set them off once. We have this, we've about decided they react to heat and not actual smoke. Because last night we were cooking hamburgers and my iron skillet that I have makes a lot of smoke and the house was smoky, didn't go off. So we really think it, it's heat indicated. So when we're cooking something really hot in the oven, it makes it go off. Let me set my timer here. I'm gonna put it for 10 minutes because my oven cooks hot. All right, got that going. All right, let's talk about this week's videos. This week's videos, I'm doing two that I know for sure. I haven't really come to my third conclusion yet, but I am making applesauce, homemade applesauce. I got two big old bags of apples over there, and I am doing, I am canning red beans, um, all the makings for red beans and rice. With a, I'm not doing the rice part of it, but obviously because you can't can rice, but I'm doing everything else that you would need for red beans, which I guess in itself is still a little bit of rebel canning there, but because um, I don't think you're supposed to can the sausage, but you know, I have canned sausage, so the smoked meat part, um, I, I'm, I'm going to be doing that because I thought how fun would it be to be able to come home Pop a can, a jar of the red beans mixture that you do with red beans and rice, and then just pour that over the rice, right? Heat it up, put that on the rice. So those videos are coming out this week. I know Nathan's done the uh, breakfast sausage, can that. So, um, and I've I've done uh, just ground sausage. I've canned it. So that video is coming out and I'm making homemade uh, applesauce and canning that this week uh, because apples are in season right now, guys, and they've had some really good deals at the grocery stores for for apples. And so those are the two of the videos that are coming out. I'm still not sure on my third video yet. Um, and I may do a third video on what you can use applesauce with. Um, if y'all would like to see a video on making a cake with applesauce, uh, let me know. Give me a thumbs up because I have a really good recipe on substituting um, your eggs and stuff with applesauce. So I could definitely do that. What are you you and Nathan carrying on about? I can't see the chat real good. You said he used beans for red beans. Right. Yeah, that's what you are going to do. Yeah. So, that, that's what. I don't need to know what we said about the Huh? I said you don't need to know what we were Probably talking not. about. Probably not. Oh, I know, Nathan. I want some deer meat so bad. Um, also, I have some little steaks. I want to do an air fryer video. Um, that's coming in the real near future. That needs to happen. So, blow up your chat sound. Huh? Blow up your chat. Yeah, I need to. Mom. What? Did you share that you hit your one year? Oh, I do need to share that, don't I? Kendra come out to make a good point. So, on the 8th of this month, well, what was it? Thursday? I hit my one year anniversary on YouTube. Nathan I can said hi, Kendra. Nathan said hi, Kendra. She said, uh-huh. Huh? Oh, and I was in back in the emergency room. 
on my one year anniversary. So, yeah, I got out of the hospital Wednesday after having surgery. Thursday, I was back in the emergency room. Um, we've been dealing with a lot of pain with this thing, but anyway, I am working on a, um, a blooper reel video going through hours and hours and hours and hours worth of video trying to pull up some of my funniest bloopers and guys trust me when I say I got some hilarious bloopers things of like I'm sitting here filming and my husband flushes the toilet or I'm crooked no it's crooked honey Baby, it's crooked. We have so much stuff like that that we think it's funny. I don't know if you guys would think it's funny or not. Just the things that I have learned over the last year of doing YouTube that I would like to try to, to make a, a blooper video and put out there. Um, but, you know, it, it's been a heck of a ride over the last year. And maybe I'll do it as a premiere or something. Um, when I started this journey a year ago, I could, I, I remember that when I met Nathan was at the, the Kentucky meetup that the Cyrus had, I was sitting, I was on a two families live. I had 50 subs. And I think Nathan or no, uh, Jareth, uh, from Reap What You Sow was my 50th sub, but Nathan and, and Chris for Single Dad Homestead was sitting there on Two Families Live chatting to the audience, and I'm like, I don't know if I can do this or not. I'm not a homesteader. I'm not this. I'm not that, and you know, Nathan told me homesteading is a state of mind. It's not just because you live in an apartment, and I still don't know that. Yeah, Jay, Nathan just said, just think I helped create this monster of a channel. Exactly. You really did, Nathan. Um, and I was getting to that. I mean, he encouraged me to to follow my passion. And, uh, you know, I'm a cooking channel. Um, I, I, I still have a strong heart for homesteading. Um, and someday I will have my own property that I can have chickens and I can have. I have a small little garden out there, but I will have a full blown thing someday. But. Um, you know. If I had, I, I couldn't foresee a year ago that I would be monetized, that I would be, um, oh, I'm, I'm going to finish story. Bring, bring my new toy over here. Let me show you what I got. Um, that I would be anywhere near, you know, right now I'm sitting at 1,150 three subs, I, I wouldn't have believed it, you know, and I, and yeah, guys, she's not proud of this at all. I got my camera. Um, it is a Canon Rebel, uh, T7. It, it's, it's not the fanciest thing out of the, out, out there. But if, if you're friends with me on Facebook, you've seen my, uh, some of the pictures I've been taking. I stopped a ladybug and a snail in my little garden yesterday. Um, a little backstory. When I was in high school, I was the photography editor for my yearbook. Okay. There was two of us on the yearbook. It, it didn't take a lot, but <laughs> this thing was my first love. I was going to be a photojournalist. Um, but I was told there's no money in it. You can't make a living taking pictures. Um, then I was told because I was dyslexic, you're not smart enough to go to college, which we know now that's not true. Dyslexics are intelligent people it has nothing to, it's not an intelligence issue, but this, a camera was my first love. I did it the old fashioned way with film in a dark room and all this stuff. Um, so over the last few days playing with my new toy, I have rediscovered my first, my first love, which was 
my camera. Now it's a lot different. Now you don't have film. It's all digital. So because of super chats, because of memberships, because of ads um, and saving, I was able to go on the Canon website, buy a refurbished Canon. Um, I paid right at with taxes and everything, $300. I got this, I got a telephoto lens um, and, and this camera for right at $300. So, you know, I thank you guys for your support, for watching my videos, for doing all that stuff because you guys contributed to me being able to get this camera. My last video that I put out yesterday was uh, the front on shot was shot with this and I think it did a beautiful job. So um, I thank you from the bottom of my heart for your support because um, y'all helped me get, get a camera and I really, really appreciate it. Um, Build on the right, uh -huh. here you just said something that other people have told you, you need to do a basic kitchen skills set or, you know, series. Yeah, I do, and I'm going to. Um, I've done one out of that series, but I'm, that is definitely in the works, Carrie. Um, definitely in the works. I'm going to hand you this so I can yeah. get our squash out. All right, pot rags, where'd you put them? Oh, right here. Oh, okay. Where did my Texas? I don't know where they are right now. They lose my stuff, guys. All right, shut up. All right, cancel that. We're gonna bring these bad boys out. Oh, they look so good. Please don't set my fire to blow them off. <gasps> oh, that could have been bad. Of course it did. I'm telling you, it's heat related. Because it, it is not smoking in the least. Cancel that. All right. So, let me get a fork here. All right, honey. What do you mean? Don't you even give me that big one. No, they're they're all big, but that one and that one's mine. All right, there you go. Moment of truth. Good stuff. You like it? Mm -hmm. Definitely a thumbs up. Scroll your chat down. Yeah, I'm going to. I did. The squash is good, Nathan. I like acorn squash. Mm -hmm. like I said, I like it better than I do uh, spaghetti squash. I'm not a huge fan of spaghetti squash. I don't care what they say, it doesn't taste like spaghetti. Yep. 
Yeah. Definitely, definitely, definitely a, a, a keeper. And it's really good for you, you know. I love summer squash too. Absolutely. Well, at least you would like the inside of it, Nathan. You can't argue with that. It makes a good boat. Right? Okay, my friends, so I, if, forgive me, but I'm probably going to end it here. Oh, excuse me. Uh, I'm probably going to end it here. It's been a really long week for me. So, um, but thank you so much for joining me today. Um, I'll be back to my regular uh, video schedules this week. And I appreciate your support more than you possibly know. Like I said, be looking for that blooper video. I'm working, currently working on that now. So I love you guys so much. Thank you for joining us today. Uh, I hope you'll try this. It turned out great. I really enjoy this. So anyway, thank you so much. Thank you, guys. We will see y'all next Saturday and uh, see you in the next video.